Because we work with light in television, we need to know how to mix colors of light in order to properly reproduce them. There are two different systems called color primary systems. The first system is called a subtractive system. You might be familiar with this from art classes. That's because this system is used with ink and paint, all kinds of pigments that go on surfaces. Remember reflection from earlier. That process removes wavelengths of light from getting into our eyes. That's why this system is called subtractive. It takes away wavelengths of light. Applying enough different pigments takes away all wavelengths, and that gives us black. The second system is called the additive system. Light works in the additive system. As you add different wavelengths of light, you get more and more wavelengths present. Kind of the reverse of the prism we showed you earlier. With all wavelengths present, you get pure white light. And even with a mix of just a few specific wavelengths, you can get a light that your brain will accept as white. Now knowing this, which system do you think television and video cameras use? TV uses the additive system. Why? Because a TV set is really a light source. The TV signal is made up of three additive primary colors, red, green, and blue, or RGB. You may have heard that term before. When combined in the right amount, red, green, and blue will actually give you white. Along with primary colors are secondary colors. When you mix any two primary colors together, that gives you a secondary color. And it turns out that the secondary colors of the additive primaries are the subtractive primaries. Because you mix two of the primaries to get the secondary, when you mix that secondary with the third primary, you get white because mixing two of the primaries and then the third one is the same as mixing all three. Secondary colors are also called complementary colors because of this property. When they're mixed with their matching primary, they give you white light. And so now you know where the colors and color bars come from. RGB can also be combined in different ratios to give just about every other color in the spectrum of visible light, which was another reason they were a good choice for television and video production.